Hello and welcome to Off Script. I'm Bruce Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson thanked his colleagues today and called for strong alliances with other countries. He did not thank the president. They never really got along. Tillerson never denied that he once referred to the president as a moron. He learned he was fired today from President Trump's tweet announcing his replacement. This afternoon, in perhaps his last appearance as Secretary of State, he had some tough talk for the Russians. It's one of the areas where he and the president had disagreements. Take a listen. Much work remains to respond to the troubling behavior and actions of the, on the part of the Russian government. Russia must assess carefully as to how its actions are in the best interest of the Russian people and of the world more broadly. Continuing on their current trajectory is likely to lead to greater isolation on their part, a situation which is not in anyone's interest. With Tillerson out and Mike Pompeo nominated to replace him, this makes five cabinet changes in but 13 months. Barack Obama had three changes all in his second year. George W. Bush had zero changes through his first two years. Bill Clinton had four changes all in his second year. Now, NPR put together a list earlier this month of senior staff turnovers through the first 13 and a half months. President Trump ta tops the list at 43%. Barack Obama had 24% turnover. George W. Bush, 33 percent. Bill Clinton had 38 percent turnover of senior staff in the first 13 and a half months. Trump supporters could argue the others were career politicians with years in public office, while the current president had to start from scratch in building a staff.